Whoa, whoa, put that away. That's You're scaring the children here. Man, there's something really weird about the characters in this game. Like, it's like they actually use like a texture for a real face and just kind of stuck it on a, a potato or a kind of a Play-Doh looking head. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of My Summer Car, and today, I want to get this thing inspected, or at least I want to try to get this thing inspected. I've been doing quite a bit of work on it, I think it's almost ready to go, I'm going to go to the store and pick up my fuel mixture gauge, and double check that real quick. Uh, I've been working on the alignment, and eh, it's still a little off, but it's a lot better than it was. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the hood on. Uh, we're actually going to take the boat to town. If you recall, we have the poo-poo truck on the other side of the lake here. So I'm trying to think if I need to grab anything. I think I need to just take this, buddy. Uh, we need to take this, fill this up, because I don't know how rich that car is going to run. I'm going to try to tone it down, and uh, hopefully we can get to the inspection place. So we're going to take this, and let's go get on that boat. All right. I do not know what I'm doing here. I'm actually kind of afraid to do this, but uh, I figured this is going to be the quickest way to get to town. So, let's see. What is this thing? Driving mode. Gear select. Uh, neutral. Sure. Engine shut off. Starter. And there's the turning thing. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Rip it. Rip it. Oh, there we go. All right. So, let's put it into gear. Uh, no. Gear. Gear. There we go, first gear. Does this thing have first gear, or is that just what it's called there? Okay, uh, I've actually got a fine, and I hope this gas can does not fall out. I'm really afraid of it doing that. Uh, I've got to find the other dock. I just want to assume that it's, like, completely on the opposite side. I see something on the shoreline over there. I want to say maybe that's the poo-poo truck. Uh, hope it is. Man, that took a little longer than I thought I was going to. I got turned around there, started heading to the right, and then I realized, oh, I need to go to the left. So anyways, there's a poo truck. Uh, let's just pull up to the dock here. I really don't want to crash into the shore. Here we go. There we go. All right, I don't remember if I left anything in the truck, but we're going to head up to the store and pick up our fuel mixture gauge. And I don't understand why it's so dark. Maybe it's about to rain. No, I just now realized I never brought any beer with me. That's like very unusual. This uh, this isn't as fun sober, so we're going to get some uh, fuel here. Pick up a case of beer. Pick up our part. I'm assuming it's in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and take a look-see. Hello, good sir. Where is my package? Hello. Oh, here it is. Uh, pay post order. How much is that? Uh, that, that was a lot of money. Okay. I almost made a very, very big mistake. You know, I never paid for that postage order, apparently, last time. I, I just paid it there. Uh, my box was setting right over out back. That's weird. He let me pay for it. Or maybe that's a, a service after. I don't know. I figured I'd have to pay for that first. Here we are back at the dock. Oh, slow it up. Slow it up. Slow it up. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't lose anything. I was watching the uh, gas can. It bounced around a bit, but uh, the beer is safe. The gas is safe. Uh, let's get a little further up here, and let's kill it. There we go. Uh, at least, I hope the gauge is safe. I don't know. Let's uh, let's see here. Come on. Stop. There we go. Uh, oh, my heart sank. Uh, I looked down. I was like, oh, where's the gauge? Uh, right there. All right. So, um, anyways, I'm going to grab everything here. Probably leave the beer in the uh, in the boat. You always need a supply of beer when you go to town, so that'll work. Alright, it is time to mess with this doohickey, and I don't know how this thing works. Uh, I read somewhere that it needs to set somewhere right there, and you're looking for a sweet spot between 14 and 16 air to fuel ratio thingy. So anyways, uh, let's crank this bad boy up. There we go. Come on. There we go. Oh. Uh-uh. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, it seems like we're a little starved here. This was cranking good. Uh, it's gotta gotta heat up a little bit, so let's let the uh, gotta let it idle. It's gonna set here, heat the motor up. Uh, we can also check everything else out. I, I need to also look at that alignment one more time, check my fluids, and we should be good to go to town here. So, anyways, let this idle, let it idle, and let it set here for a second. And we'll see where it kind of evens out at. Huh? It seems to. 
Kind of letting it idle here. It seems to have stopped right around the 14.3 area, and that's actually where it should be, or kind of where it should be. Wow, are you kidding me? I was actually that close? Like, it almost makes me think I didn't need to do this. Oh, just went up to 14.4. Okay, well, not a big difference, so I guess we're actually good to go here, at least in terms of that. Uh, does that stay? I guess it actually can stay on there. That's kind of cool. It's like a, like a race car or something. So, okay, we've got that. Uh, let's see. Oh, apparently I need another beer. We're gonna have to take a, definitely take a nap before we go into town to get this thing inspected. Uh, we're gonna do like a little inspection ourselves here. So anyways, let's grab our number, uh, I think it's a 14 spanner. It's gonna be for the alignment. Okay, inspection. What do I need? Bumper, trunk. Uh, let's see. Beer, nope. Oh, I need to put beer in there. Uh, we've got the little triangle doohickey from the tractor. That's on. Doors are on. Ah, uh, there obviously there's tires. The hood needs to go on. Air filters on. We look into the garage. Uh, anything? Do we need hubcaps? Uh, hubcaps don't seem to be that necessary. I guess we can pop these on. All right, here comes the hubcap. There we go. Okay, we got the car. Let's go a little further up. Now the alignment. Uh, hmm. That one looks like it's pointed in just a bit. I'm gonna eyeball this. Like you can actually go get this done. Professionally, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, hopefully these tires pass inspection. I don't really know. I don't know everything about it. Uh, I really hope they do. Let's see. Those are pretty darn close. This thing was pulling hard. I think to the right, and I think we are there. Uh, okay, so there's that. Uh, drop that, and let's get this doohickey out of the way over here. Okay, here comes the hood. Let's see, air filters on. I guess we could do one last check up. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna check these fluids real quick and then we're gonna put the uh, put the hood on. We should be good to go. I'm gonna go take a nap after this too. All right, folks, this is the moment of truth. We're about to put on the last couple parts and hopefully the finished laws for inspection are really low in standard because I don't know if this is gonna pass. I'm a little nervous. I don't know, I feel like a, a parent or something about to watch their kid go take some sort of important test. But uh, right now it is running. It's a, uh, I wouldn't say it's purring like a kitten. It's morely, it sounds like a dying animal of some sorts, but it's not terrible. Uh, we've got white smoke. Uh, I've been watching the uh, little fuel mixture gauge thingy. Uh, I kind of watched it yesterday and I feel like we need to let it run longer. Uh, I think the white smoke actually means something like it's running too lean, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and give it a little bit more on the carburetor. We're going to put the uh, hood on and then we're going to drive away. This should be the last body part. There we go. Uh, how'd that step on? I'm pretty sure that's not on. Uh, there's like bolts or something. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this over here. There we go. And open that back up. Yep, still running. Uh, we're gonna grab some tools over here, uh, open that. I think it's spanner number six, I believe, to tighten the hood. Uh, I believe. It might be a bigger one, I don't know, let's see. Alright, so there's the four bolts on the hood here, one, two, three, four. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna do before we get going here, I'm gonna grab the screwdriver, I'm gonna hop into the motor. There is a, uh, screw on the carburetor, it's right under the air filter, it's gonna be a little hard. Actually, I got it there. And I think twisting it to the right enriches the uh, fuel to air ratio thingy. I don't know. We'll test with that. I'm going to actually bring that with me just in case something happens on the road. Uh, we can always hop out and try to fix something. So that's going to come with us too. And the last thing we're going to do here, let's go ahead and close this. I think this closes, right? Uh, last thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and fill it up. Of course, we picked up gas yesterday. Uh, with the boat, that was a that was an adventure. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab this, fill it up, and we should be good to go. All right, we are ready to go here. Uh, let's see how she drives. I really only have driven it around the house just a bit, so I've never taken it on a road. So I'm a bit nervous. I don't know. We'll see what's gonna happen here. There's our muscle car. That thing's a nightmare to drive too. So uh, let's see. All right, let's see. Can we go into first? First gear. Oh, it died. Okay. Uh, let's crank it up again. You know, there's a choke over here, and I don't wonder if I'm supposed to be playing with it a bit. Uh, let's see. What's that do? Actually, that moves something on the fuel mixture, and I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I think that's supposed to be in the green. I could be completely wrong about this. 
Uh, let's push you back there. It died again, so let's crank it back up. Give it a little bit of gas. Let's throw it in gear here. There we go. We're rolling. Uh, it seems like it's a little slow on the pickup here. I'm gonna be very cautious going to town. We're gonna just fill everything out here. All right, as far as the alignment, this doesn't feel bad. It's not pulling. So I think we're actually really close on it. It probably could be tuned up a little bit more. It seems like there's a lot of play in the wheel. It kind of reminds me a bit of the, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Sounds like we're backfiring. Oh, I'm gonna take off a bumper before I even get there. Yeah, it's got a lot of play in the wheel. It seems like it takes a lot to turn, and I don't know if that's a, uh, if that's something in the steering or that's just how this car is. Try to feel, it's got some pickup on it. Let's try third gear. Whoa, okay, we're probably going a little too fast here. I just want to get this to inspection. Now, there is a engine tuning, like you can do it yourself, and I don't think I'm gonna be good enough to do that. Uh, you can get it serviced at a uh, station, or uh, there's a garage somewhere. I don't think it's the inspection one. I think it's somewhere else. I believe it's where we stole the muscle car. So we might be taking it over there and uh, trying to get it serviced, but I don't think that's required for the inspection. I could be wrong, though. All right, here comes one of the true tests. Now, she is running a little hot. I've been seeing a little bit of water come out. Uh, we're definitely going to have to probably fill it up with coolant. There it goes again. Uh, we'll do that at the station. Let's go into third gear here, and hopefully it doesn't run too bad. Uh, yeah, it's got a pull to the right. I can tell on this road. It's kind of hard to tell on the, uh, the little country roads, but this isn't bad. I I'm glad it's running. That's like priority number one. That's like the thing I didn't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Eh, gonna pay attention here. This, uh, this alignment's throwing me off. We're, we're gonna get this actually looked at as soon as we get to a garage. No! There's like never police on this road. What? Okay, do I need to stop here? Is he, is he wanting me to stop or... Yep, yep. Okay, this is odd. You know, I don't think I've ever seen them on this road. Well, thankfully, I'm not drunk. I have not been drinking, so you can go ahead and give me that. There we go. Yeah. What you think about that? I'm actually not breaking the law. Whoa. Okay. Uh, am, I, am I free to go? He didn't say anything. He's like the strong, silent type. Um... I'm assuming we're good to go. Yeah, they must have recently placed those. Like, every time I've been to town, I've never run into those things. Uh, police, nothing like that. Uh, that probably looks kind of bad. Uh, there's a beer sitting under the uh, under the driver's seat here, but it's okay. It's okay, we're good to go. All right, we're going to stroll into town. I don't know why my guy's kind of sideways. When you got in the car, it's like he's leaned over. I don't know what he's doing, but we're almost at the inspection place here. It's right around the corner from the shop. And yeah, now the nerves are really kicking in. All that hard work, all that time spent, and oh crap, uh, hopefully this thing passes inspection. Uh, hopefully it ignores the beer. Uh, let's see, we gotta pull up on this little ramp here. There we go. And probably, I don't know, probably about here. Oh, it died anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead, kill the ignition, and let's put the handbrake on. All right, here we go. It is time to get inspected. Hello, good morning. I need an inspection. Do the inspection things. 325. Go ahead. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm curious to see what he's going to do here. Uh, he's got a screwdriver in his hand, so... Whoa, whoa, put that away. That's You're scaring the children here. Man, there's something really weird about the characters in this game, like... It's like they actually use, like, a texture for a real face and just kind of stuck it on a... A potato or a kind of a play-doh looking head and what are you doing? It's not how you inspect a car. You don't poke it with a screwdriver. Hey, I might have a chance here. Uh, is that it? Uh, you are such character with this car of yours. I uh, think thank you. Uh, are we good? Did it did it pass? I mean, it is a sweet looking ride and it's a uh, it runs. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting neither baby chickens or eggs. That sounds like his thoughts. I don't know if he's saying that out loud or not. That's a, it's weird. Not sure what happened. Your car. Oh, we passed. We passed. Yes. Look at that. We got tags. Oh. Oh. What does that say? Uh. Oh. Ah. Yes, we passed everything. I, I think that says pass or good or whatever it is. 
Oh, this is so sweet. What is our tags? VBX403. Let's go stick these bad boys on. Yes, I'm so happy. That is awesome. Now we just got to get the car actually uh, tuned up. We can start putting some after... Shut up. Shut up. This is my moment. Leave me alone. But yeah, we can go ahead and start tuning up the car. Put some... I think now we can put aftermarket parts because we don't have to do this anymore. And we're legal, so... Yeah, this is gonna be pretty sweet. Comes the final plate, and boom! <laughs> oh, oh wow. Yeah, that damage looks a little weird. And that's like 8,000 to repair that damage. Now, one thing I'm gonna check before we leave. Of course, we were spewing water here, and... Come on. There we go. Oh, wow. Everything kind of moved around back here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with coolant real quick. Uh, I think it'll make it back home, or at least hopefully it makes it back home. It doesn't matter, though. We've we passed inspection. We basically... It's like you've won the game of life here. Alright, it is time to go home. I feel great. Like, I did not expect that to pass the first time. I figured we're gonna have to go back and do some things. Uh, let's see, we clear here. Clear enough. There we go, just roll through. Hopefully those cops are not still there. Uh, I'm not gonna drink. I'm gonna drink when I get home. I'm gonna celebrate. Ah, uh, yes, I have something to really be proud of. I'm so happy the car inspected. Ah, uh, it's a glorious day here. So, anyways, guys, this is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode. I just really needed to get that done. Uh, so, I've got the option now. I need to go get some jobs done. We've got the boat on the other side of the pond there. We're gonna drink a whole lot of beer in celebration of getting that car inspected. So yeah, let's go, before I go here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek. Uh, we're gonna probably buy some parts soon. So we've got this catalog. I think now that we don't have to worry about inspection, we should be able to go in here and actually buy some aftermarket parts and be good to go. Uh, so I wanna get some new racing tires. I do need to go to the garage and get it tuned up and good to go. As far as the car, get its uh, alignment and the engine tuned up. Now, if you guys know of a different way to fix the body damage, uh, let me know because I really don't want to spend $8,000 to do that. But yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.